Okay. I should start this before I take a step. Okay, I don't have a straw, so I gotta like, whatever. <sighs> okay, not too bad. Anyways, all right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching Game of Thrones season three, episode three. Three, okay. Now, in the last episode, episode two, uh, like I said in the last video, that was a really, really damn good episode. A lot, like, a lot of, like, story building, I felt like, happened in it. A lot of cliffhangers. A lot of just, like, just a lot of, like, subtle things, too. You know? Like, Marge and how she handled Joffrey. And just, like, what they're adding to the show, kind of. Now, it might just be I'm doing a better job of paying attention. <laughs> or it's, like, actually, a lot was actually added to last episode. So... Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're gonna get started. And if you wanna watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well the next two episodes of Game of Thrones for early access. So let's watch this episode. Okay, yes. So yes, they're having Rob's funeral for his grandfather. Okay. Not Rob's funeral. They're having a funeral for Rob's grandfather. Let's take a moment of silence for Rob's grandfather. Okay, okay, and he keeps missing the fucking boat. Come on. What are we doing here? You got this. Come on. Oh. He's like, let me fucking do it. That's kind of embarrassing. It'll never be me. For the old gods and the new gods. Shot. Just a walk-off shot, I mean. Ran like a victory flag. My blunder sent Tywin's mad dog scurrying back to Casterly Rock with his tail between his legs. I think King Rob understands we're not going to win this war if he's the only one winning any battles. Now, there's glory enough to go around. It's not about glory. It's not about the fame or the money. It's about justice. We took the fight to him. He could not withstand us. I wanted to draw the mountain into the west into our country where we could surround him and kill him. Yeah, and you kind of just... to chase us. And then you kind of made him flee somewhere else. Dog without a strategic thought in his head. I could have that head on a spike by now. Yeah. Shake my head. Instead, I have a mill. <laughs> it's a nice mill. We took hostages. Willem Lannister. Martin Lannister. Willem and Martin Lannister okay. are 14 yeah. years old. Martin is 15, I believe. Okay, we're not gonna kill teenagers. We have fucking morals here. At least Rob Tywin does. Tywin Lannister has my sisters. Oh, and that too. That too, yeah. How many men did you lose? 208. But for every man we lost, the Lannisters... We lost need our men more than Tywin needs his! Yeah. 208? That is not fucking worth it. Sorry, I didn't know. You would have. Right here today at this gathering if you had been patient. You seem to be running short of patience here. Tywin Lannister. Guys, okay, I read in the comments, you guys said Rob is supposed to be like 18, 17 like, or 18. Dude, he is mature as fuck for being only that old. Like, holy shit. He's a great leader, leads by example, and he didn't just, you know, his man, his man made a mistake, and, you know, he did what a leader should do, and not just fucking gas the shit out of them, okay, not just gas the shit out of them, you know, and punish them immediately, he told them what he did wrong, I mean, he got kind of mad, but, like, still, he handled that very well, a lot better than most people would. Like, Tywin probably would just have that guy killed. And that's not the example you want to set. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> she fucking hates Darian so much. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, what, what's this meeting? What are we doing here? Oh, he's gonna move right next to her. <laughs> oh wait, never mind, never mind. I thought, thought he was. Never mind. Grateful to you, my lord. Lady Aaron and I have known each other since we were children. She has always been positively predisposed toward me. A successful courtship would make Lord Baelish acting Lord of the Vale. Titles do seem to breed titles. You'll leave for the Eyrie as soon as possible and bring Lysa Aaron into the fold. Then the young wolf can add his own aunt to the list of people who've taken up arms against him. Far be it from me. Okay. Would present certain problems. The royal wedding may end up being the most expensive event in living memory. Summer has ended. Not a good time to leave the crown's finances unattended. Fully agreed. Which is why I'm naming you new Master of Coin. <gasps> master of Coin? It would appear yeah, to be fuck? a position that best suits your talents. What, what is I'm quite good at spending money, but a lot. Is that, is that like. Equivalent to the U.S. Treasury or something. Okay. Well, he's sending Baelish. I think I know where he's sending him. I think. All my life I've been hearing Jamie Lannister. What a brilliant swordsman. He was slower than I expected. Ooh. And more predictable. I've been sitting in a Ooh. wrapped in chains for the past year. And I'm a woman. You I'm still rusty. beating you. You were not beating me. Maybe you yeah, were. She did. People said once. <sighs> You're washed up. To praise a famous name. <sighs> Overrated. When we make camp tonight, you'll be raped. Ooh. More than once. Oh. These fellows have ever been with a noble woman. Okay. Be wise not to resist. Would I? You'll knock your teeth out. You think I care about my teeth? No, I don't think you care about your teeth. Okay, I think she hurt Jamie's feelings, so that's why he just went straight to that. Kill you. Do you understand? I'm the prison of that. I mean, he's, he's probably not wrong, but like still. What they want, what does it matter? What does it matter? Just close your eyes, pretend they're Renly. Okay, yeah, he's just trying to piss her off. You wouldn't resist. You let them do what they wanted. If I was a woman, I'd make them kill me. I'm not thank the gods. Okay, yeah, he's just getting in her head even more, and it's like, stop! Coward's weapon. I like to fight up close. I like to see a man's face when I put the steel in. Why? So you can kiss him. You remember the last time you were here? Looks like every other shit in on the road. Now, apologies, but you're one ugly fucker, and I'd rather not see you no more. Motherfucker. <laughs> Watch your head. Bro, he can't see. They did that to him on purpose. So I thought, oh, she's keeping me as a payment for all the free meals she's given him. Anyway, it's not me the Brotherhood wants. My brother ain't no king. I mean... I'm not Stark of Winter Hell. Winter Fell. Yeah, I was gonna say. You sure? You sure? Oh, I made you something. I mean, yeah, if... Aw. If he stays behind, it's probably better for him at least because he'll probably die if he keeps going you know so that he's like you know what? i found my spot i have a purpose here i'm safe i'm staying well be safe yeah you too don't get stabbed <laughs> oh yeah i don't plan on it goodbye hot pie goodbye Harry. Uh, they hated each other when they first met, and now they they became friends and they broke up. Well, they split up. I hate to see it. Up you go, little lady. Well, if we never see him again, I will assume he lived and died at a nice age of 90. And he lived a good life. It often comforts me to think that even in war's darkest days, in most places in the world... Absolutely nothing is happening. Mm -hmm. I've missed you, Uncle. Father missed you too. From the day you left. Maybe he never said it in so many words. Maybe. 
Okay, so that's Father was a stubborn old ox. It's the uncle, her uncle. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to know that prior to what she, her just saying it. So, I told him, people have been calling me Blackfish for so long they don't remember my real name. Can we get the name? Okay, I guess not. Hey, when the sun came up, waiting. Dude, she I is. Wonder. Dude, guys, just going through Many so times much. Many did Bran or Rickon stare across the moors of Winterfell, waiting for me to return. I will Dude. never see them again. <laughs> yes, you will. You will. She doesn't know she will, because she thinks they're dead. But dude, okay, oh, I feel so bad for her because like, she puts her, she puts a lot of blame on herself because she feels so guilty about Life. it. Yeah, Rob does believe. And he must go on believing. He's got to remain strong if he's to prove. But she blames herself for a lot of, pretty much everything that's happened. Always the artists. God, okay, so they cut a bunch of like horses. Oh, that's a lot of horses. No oh, men. All right, they left the sign. Okay. There was. How many men were here? About 300. And you know what those men are now? Yeah. I... They're all the same so. to meet for their army. Do you think anyone got away? It's not impossible. You don't go far betting against Mormons. But dead or alive, he took a big gamble coming north. And he lost. Best fighting men are dead. And whether he's Lord Commander of the Night's Watch or a blue-eyed corpse, he's a long way from home. Okay, so... Talbot! I missed something, so I'm glad he said... I'm glad he said that. Because... So these were the commander's men. I don't think it was the commander with Sam. Like, that group of men. Probably a different group of men that they found. See if crows and can fly. The horses are dead. Go into war. But Old friend. Hide near yes. Castle Black. When I give the signal, hit them in the night. They've got a... I hope what I just said was right. I hope. And yes, all the men that were there, they probably turned into White Walkers. That's probably... I think that's what they were hinting at. Are implying. And your eagle above the wall every night. When it's time, I'm going to light the biggest fire the North has ever seen. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay. Speaking of these guys. And this is that one dude's house who kills all the baby boys. I recognize where they're at now. Okay. They came back to here. Yeah, this fucking guy who would have. Why is this guy being hella sus now? You should all be kissing my feet for letting you in. I'd have turned you all away if I wasn't a godly man. Shut the fuck up. You were barely a grunt. But she's almost as fat as this one here. Oh, why don't you dine on him? Carve off what you need as you go. Shut up. Well, look at him. He's a walking feast. <laughs> I fucking hate this guy. Uh, you leave me there. Uh, oh, that's the girl he fell in love with. What is it? What is it? It's a boy. Yeah, it's a boy. Ah, oh, that's so tough. Honestly, okay, since Sam cares about that girl a lot, and he saw, and he saw that uh, she gave birth to a boy, he might try and help her now, like John tried to, but it's gonna get Sam in trouble, so maybe, it's just a guess, maybe, because I feel like Sam's gonna try and help her. 
and something's gonna happen because of it. Maybe it's gonna attract the White Walkers. I don't know. We'll see. Go. Come on. Come on. All right, Theon. Let's go. Come on. Please will show me. How long will you be gone? I don't know. You're abandoning me. I will never abandon you. Okay, Melisandre abandons Stannis. They're laughing at me. The way Renly laughed at me. I want Joffrey dead. Yeah, me too. I want me too. Rob Stark dead. Okay, not not Rob, not Rob. Make me another son. I cannot. Why? You don't have the strength. It would kill you. I'm not so easily killed. Men have been trying for years. I want you. Stannis low-key pussy whipped. She's not having it. I... Your fires burn low, my king. Wow. She's a pussy. You told me your magic requires the king's blood. Yes. I'm the one true king. You are. But there are others with your blood in their veins. Rob. Oh. You will sit on the Iron Throne, but first there must be sacrifices. The Lord of Light demands it. Okay. Who? Okay. Well, who else is gonna fuck her then? Like, you know, Renly's dead. What the hell? Robert's dead. So two immediate brothers are dead. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who else would do it. Like, relatively easily. Let me see. This man has been sentenced to death. Dude, Khaleesi's too good of a person. Leave know. this place, Your Grace. Leave tonight, I beg you. And what is she to do for soldiers? We can find cell swords in Pentos and Mir. Is it we already, Sir Barristan? Yeah. Hell yeah, it's we. If you want to sit on the throne your ancestors built, you must win it. That will mean blood on your hands before the thing is done. The blood of my enemies, not the blood of innocents. Such a good heart. How many wars have you fought in, Sir Barristan? Three. All of them. When your brother Rhaegar led his army into battle of the Trident, men died for him because they believed in him, because they loved him, mm -hmm. not because they'd been bought at a slaver's auction. That is also a very fair point. Okay, buddy. There are 8,000 unsullied in Astapor. Is this what you mean by all? Yes, 8,000. <laughs> and the ones still in training as well. I love how his translator just doesn't say anything he's saying. It just, you know, because what he's saying is so fucking offensive. Master Krasnis says you cannot afford this. Uh. Your ship will buy you 100 unsullied. Oh my god. <laughs> because Master Krasnas is generous. Yeah, see? The gold you have left is worth ten. She just has to censor everything he's saying. All of them. Master Krasnas asks how you propose to pay for the remaining 7,877 unsullied. I have dragons. I'll give you one. No. 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 Do not give up a dragon. With dragons, not slaves, your grace. Please. Yes. Please. Do not do. Okay. Wait. She could give him a dragon, and then they leave with all the, um, the soldiers or the, the slaves, and then the dragon just flies away. Like fuck, you know. One. Two. Oh. One. One. Like, she's gonna get her dragon back. She's gonna finesse them somehow. They want the biggest one. Done. Done. I know. I, she gets her dragon back. Like, no chance. She just You as up. well. Now. Oh, yeah. You be Master Krasny's gift to me. Token oh, of a bargain okay. well struck. Let's go. I like her. I like the translator. 
I value your advice, but if you ever question me in front of strangers again, you'll be advising someone else. Is that understood? <sighs> Please, come on. <laughs> Questions have been taken from them. They obey, that is all. Once they are yours, they are yours. They will fall on their swords if you command it. And what about you? You know that I'm taking you to war. You may go hungry. You may fall sick. You may be killed. Valar Mogulis. Yes. Whoa, 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 But we are not men. Wait. Why did they say that? They said Valar... Wait, okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm pretty sure the Valar Malau... However you say it. That's what Jagan told Arya. 99% sure that's the same exact phrase. I, uh, I'm gonna have to think about that one for a second, so... No. He's stealing it? Worse, he's borrowing it. What's wrong with that? We can't afford to pay it back. That's what's wrong with it. The crown owes millions to my father. Seeing as it's his grandson's ass on the throne, I imagine he'll forgive that debt. Forgive a debt? My father. Nope, not even for Joffrey. Borrowed money before. I'm not clear on the rules. Well, you give it back. Or... You return it with interest. Mm -hmm. And what if yeah, I don't? Okay. Well, you have to. But what if I don't? This is why I don't. It's not my father I'm worried about. It's the Iron Bank of Brothers. We owe them tens of millions. Damn. If we fail to repay these loans, the bank will fund our enemies. One way or another, they always get their gold back. Alright, so you want to pay the banks back so they don't just go and, yeah, fund their enemies. Okay. Or should I say my money's worth? Oh, he couldn't it was do a it. gift, Podrick. This is more than I give you in a year. He's a squire. You don't pay him. Oh, <laughs> then it's much more than I give you in a year. <laughs> I wouldn't take it, my love. What? Maybe oh. they were happy enough to take it when I gave it to them. What did you okay. tell him? Yeah, no, I feel like he just didn't want it. He just didn't want to do it. He wasn't comfortable with it. It's way too overwhelming. Like, yeah, for, even for me, like, that's pretty over fucking overwhelming. I, would, I probably wouldn't do it either. Sit down, Podrick. <clears throat> Look, Podrick, you're only going to get your dick wet so many times before you die. You're going to get off at any given moment. Do as many times as you can. That's, yeah. That's what he's about to tell him when Podrick says I couldn't do it. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's fucking terrifying. Oh, you know, that's terrifying. I was gonna say, Come on! it's fucking terrifying to have an arrow shot at you and you look around, there's no one. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, I didn't I really didn't think he'd get away. So I think these are the people who he just tried to escape from. Could be wrong, but <gasps> You know what we do with runaways here, do you? <laughs> mm. Take off his pants. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna piss, yeah, he's gonna piss on his ass. I'm gonna fuck you into the dirt. Oh, he's not gonna piss on him. Never mind. No. <gasps> oh. Okay. I have no idea who could have shot those arrows. I don't even want to say who I think it could be because it's probably not. It's probably not. Yeah, wait. It's definitely not who I thought. Yeah, yeah that's the dude his sister sent. Okay. He was okay. <laughs> That's fucking brutal. Okay. Come, my lord. Okay, so he I guess he he might have been just like following Theon. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Um I guess he was following Theon to make sure he got out and then just to make sure you know, not without Theon knowing he was being followed by him. 
Okay, okay. It's clutch. It's very clutch. The Kingslayer alive. Nobody said shit about you. Oh, okay. Fuck. Like a little privacy. You know who she is, don't you? Oh, is Jamie gonna stand up for her? Hopefully. Every sapphire in Westeros was mined on Tarth. Sapphires are gemstones, the blue ones. Mm -hmm. I know what they are. Yeah, she's rich. You wanna get her back so you can get paid. Daughters wait in sapphires if she's returned to him. Okay, I, Jamie could be capping so hard right now. You know. Honor undismerged. I think Jamie's capping about, you know, being her her family being rich. But damn, all right, shout out Jamie. Shout out Jamie to fucking, you know, save her right there. Damn. Let's respect Jamie. My mother respect. forced me to study the books every morning before I could practice right. with sword or horse. I remember that. He he did say that. Tywin said that. Your father He'd pay your weight in gold to get you back. Fuck yeah. Lands, titles, you'll have them all. Good. Damn that. We have the numbers, we have the gold. Aye. You have both. You're Fighting genius. bravely for a losing cause is admirable. It's noble, Fighting but... Fighting for a winning cause Oh, more rewarding. Yeah, okay, dude. Like I said in the intro, Jamie's so good. James, Jamie's so good at just manipulating people and getting, you know, getting his way. Look, if you need to keep me chained to this tree, I'm not asking to be free from my constraints, but if I could sleep lying down, my back would thank you for it. I'm not as young and resilient yeah. as I was once. Don't fall for it, please don't. Oh, okay. I'm to Jamie from the tree. Oh! Oh, he, he's really fucking falling for it. Alright. <sighs> Suppose you'll be wanting something to eat. Okay. We've got a spare partridge on the fire. Okay, yeah. This guy's being hella cool to Jamie now because he wa he just wants to get paid. So he's like, okay, if I make Jamie happy... You know, I'll get paid more money, hopefully. That's probably what he's thinking. Oh, my lord. Oh, yes, yes, this will do nice. Ah! Oh! I'm Wait, why? Stop. Oh, they're gonna cut his head off. Oh, my god. Wait, no, they're not actually, but that's what they're implying. You think you're the smartest <laughs> man there is? <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. I fell for it. If I to bow and scrape and lick your boots. I thought for it. And if you get in any trouble, all you've got to do is say my father. And that's uh, it. All your troubles are gone. God damn it, I can't believe I fell for that. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Uh, 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 uh. Careful. Uh. You don't want to say the wrong thing. <sighs> You're nothing without your daddy. Your daddy ain't here. <laughs> Never forget that. Yeah, this should help you remember. <gasps> what? How are they just gonna end the episode on that? What? He cut Jamie's fucking hand off. Oh my god, he he just cut Jamie's fucking hand off. He cut his right hand off. Wow. What? <laughs> okay. Okay, if I'm being completely honest, as soon as the knife hit Jamie's fucking wrist, like, I was like, what? I didn't, like, I was like, okay, maybe the knife didn't go through all the way, and then his hand backed up, and I was like, oh, his hand's completely d detached. Okay, and then for a second there, I was kind of waiting for, you know, all of a sudden Jamie just to like wake up like from like a dream or something. But no, I think he actually got his fucking hand cut off.
Holy shit. That sucks. <laughs> Damn, so Jamie's really just about to be Luke Skywalker here. Got his hand cut off, but instead of getting a nice robot ham, they're just gonna give him like fucking tree bark or something, like just a bunch of sticks. <laughs> okay, okay, but seriously. Wow, okay. Yeah, I mean, you wanna you wanna make a statement, but you don't wanna kill Jamie, so I get that. Okay, wow. I was not expecting that at all. Holy fuck. And also, that was Jamie's right fucking hand too. So I'm pretty sure he's right-handed. So GG fighting anyone else now. Like, dude, he just dropped from like a 99 overall to like a solid 71. If you play any sports games, you'll you'll get that. But wow. I, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, so he's not, he, no chance he beats um, Big B anymore. Especially now, well, yeah, no chance he, be, he beats Big B now because he, I don't think he's as good with the left hand. And how is, what's he gonna do? Hold the sword like this? You know? What? I, yeah. So he's just gonna have to surrender and just comply no matter what now because he can't fight. He can't do shit. So he's. What are you doing? Okay. Um, he's basically just, you know, he just got to submit, so. Until maybe he, he gets this figured out, and then, yeah. That sucks. <laughs> I don't care, though. Fuck him. Not really. I like Jamie, but. Yeah, that, that's tough, Jamie. That's tough. Okay, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know what the solution would be to that. But maybe they'll give him just, like. Oh, they'll give him a fucking. Um, what's it called? They'll give him a Captain Hook hand. That's, what the, that's the best they can do during this time. They'll give him a Captain Hook hand. That's what they'll do. But maybe they'll give him something to where he can at least hold the sword like this. But he's mostly going to have to learn how to fight with his left hand. So, yeah, he's going to have to do a lot of things with his left hand. Okay, so basically. So basically. Here's my notes from this episode. So, during that meeting... Tywin had with a uh, Baelish, Varys, Tyrion, and Cersei. Tywin's plan is to send Lord Baelish somewhere, and it's going to turn Rob's aunt against him. Somehow, something like that. Like, okay, I was trying, I was listening, and then Cat's Catelyn Stark's uncle, his nickname Blackfish. Uh, I don't think we've seen him before, so I'm pretty sure this is the first time we're ever meeting him. <laughs> yeah, okay, I really, dude, I, I better say it again, I love how Rob handles situations, like, Rob's boy took the mill, and he pushed the mountain where, he made the mountain flee, you know, flee further, when Rob was trying to lure him to us, and be like, okay, we're gonna get you here, and then we're gonna kill you, but no, his boy pushed him somewhere else. And, okay, obviously that's a huge loss. They lost like 208 men, I think. Or 203 or 208, whatever. He said they lost that many men trying to do that. And Rob, like, dude. Okay, here's the thing. He leads by example very nicely. So he does the right thing. He gets on his guy. He gets on his guy. Don't get me wrong. He gets on him. But he doesn't overdo it, I feel like. You know, now maybe, now maybe they don't, maybe he's like, okay, that's the worst Rob's going to do, like push back to me when I fuck up. Okay. I'm not going to take him seriously. I'm not going to respect him. But then again, I'm just, that's just a guess that something that could end up happening. But I think for the most part, that guy was like, okay, I don't want to, you know, upset Rob anymore. But maybe he's like, if, even if I upset Rob, he's not going to get, he's not going to do much about it. So maybe this guy later will make another stupid ass mistake because, you know, he knows how Rob will react and he's not afraid of that. That's like the only disadvantage Rob really has. But in then like with Tywin and like Joffrey, if, you, if someone working for them did that, they're dead. They're dead immediately. So, you know, you want to have a good balance of respect and all, a little bit of fear. You know, you don't want your people to fear you entirely. But you want them to know, like, oh, no, there is consequences for ignorance here. Okay, but anyway, 
but overall i'm really i really like the way rob handled that like i think it was good i think it had a good, it was enough to really get his point across and it wasn't too much to where the guy's like fuck you dude you know you know it's a hard balance sometimes but anyway okay so in the scene with mance and john they okay they found a bunch of dead horses arranged in a certain way and from what i understand as of right now it was the white walkers that killed a group of the night's watch and took the horses and then they made um that sign out of it or whatever to send like a message or something now i'm not entirely sure if that's exactly what happened so i'm going to watch a recap video on this episode just to double check just to double check so if anything i say in this outro is wrong i will probably correct myself in the next episode when i after i watch the recap just to be safe so and then okay so then mance was like you know what fuck this we're going to war we're gonna fight so he's like wait for my signal i'm like the biggest goddamn fire ever so okay okay war coming you know you know since you know this show does take a little bit longer to develop storylines that war mance is talking about will probably happen in season eight so i'm kidding i'm kidding probably be at the end of the it'll probably be at the beginning or like mid fourth season and then okay then sam and that group of night's watch with the commander they went back to caster i think his name's casters they went back to him and the girl that sam was in love with you know she was giving birth and she gave birth to a boy and they all know what that means they know they're gonna have to kill it kill the boy and i feel like sam obviously he really cares for this girl so he's probably gonna try and do something and save the baby now i don't know exactly what's gonna happen if he tries you know if caster i think his name is uh catches him he's probably killing sam so I don't think that's gonna happen. I think Sam's gonna do something stupid and attract a lot of the, the White Walkers, or you guys said the Whites, attract a little bit, some of the Whites, and then they're gonna have to fight. People, are, Some other people are gonna die and blah, blah, blah. Theon escaped, right? And then he got caught again. But okay, so the dude his sister sent, you know, helped Theon escape. And I don't, okay, I, he didn't go with Theon initially. I think he, like, he waited Theon, he waited for Theon to go, and then he kind of took off himself, but from a distance, just kind of watch him, make sure he's safe or whatever. And yeah, he probably knew there was going to be a squad coming for Theon. So he's like, look, I'm just going to ride at a distance from Theon and wait for the squad to come, because they're going to find out he's gone eventually. And then I'll help, then I'll take him out when the time is right. And then okay so melisandre kind of melisandre kind of just told stannis look bro you're kind of a bitch I'm, your fire's burning low okay i'm gonna need one of your relatives the nut in me to give you another son because you're too weak it will kill you i don't know who else could it who it could be if i'm being honest like out of the baratheon family i know stannis renly king robert and then nobody else really comes to mind immediately. I'm sure you guys are gonna probably comment like 10 fucking people. It could it could be. Okay, and then so then Khaleesi's gave up her dragons to get the army from the of the unsullied or whatever. And she she gave up one dragon, the biggest dragon. Now I think she's gonna get her dragon back. There's no way she gives up these dragons loving them as much as she does unless she actually just does give up one and she's like you know what two is good enough i don't see it though like i see her getting the third one back somehow because i think she loves him too much and she's trying to finesse this dude hella hard okay so she's gonna get the army and she's gonna get her dragon back all right one thing too maybe khaleesi's was just like really like double checking to make sure if like oh they'll do anything i say anything i say maybe she's gonna take that army and just attack them all with it and to get her dragon back so she's gonna take the she's gonna give the dragon up get the army and then just totally flip it on them attack them get the dragons back you know something like that maybe i don't know and then and then yeah she also took the translator because she could tell like okay this translator is also a slave and she's just a really good person 
I, I feel like how good of a person she is, it's going to be her downfall somehow. Like, it's going to fuck her over. But, yeah, so that was really sweet of her to take the translator too because she could tell, like, yeah, this person is not happy here. Like, she's probably, you know, being mistreated. And she's like, I need to save her too. And so, yeah, she's, okay, and her plan to take back the Iron Throne, it's coming along, you know? She's got an 8,000-man army now. Now... She's gonna need a little bit bigger army eventually. And the dragons too. She's gonna have to fight any anyone else we know. You know, I I don't see her winning a war with anyone yet. I think she has a little bit more work to do and then she'll be set. So yeah. Okay, okay, and then okay, so Daenerys Targaryen, Khaleesi's. She okay, she did say Valis Mor Moloris to the translator and they said all men must die but yeah and so then Doria I think her name was the lady that um Khaleesi sent into the vault with Zero and Zero Doxis. you know you guys did comment that she was talking to Varys and she said she met a man who can change his face so maybe she said something to Khaleesi's about that and that's where she got the phrase Valis I'm gonna butcher it so but maybe that's where she got that from um I don't know it's just a guess I'm definitely gonna watch a recap to make sure I get what's happening so if I and like I said earlier if I got anything wrong in here I will correct it in the next episode just to double check and just to make sure so but also yeah so anyways comment down below what you thought about the episode I'm gonna figure it out on my own don't worry but if it's important please let me know Anyways, if you like the video, like the video. Thanks for watching.